the U.S. Navy has showcased its Snakehead Large Displacement Unmanned Undersea Vehicle LDUUV, for the first time during a christening event at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center NUWC. The images of the Snakehead's christening were published this week by NUWC Division Newport and the Program Executive Office Unmanned and Small Combatants. POUSC. The vehicle was christened at the Narragansett Bay Test Facility on February 2nd. The LDUUV has been in development for many years. The Snakehead LDUUV opens up a host of new possibilities. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Snakehead LDUUV could change undersea warfare. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. During the christening, Captain Pete Small, the program manager for Unmanned Maritime Systems, said he's been blown away by the team of subject matter experts and the complexity and technical rigor of the project since joining in 2018. Christopher Del Mastro, head of NUWC, Division Newport's Undersea Warfare Platforms and Payload Integration Department, added that the christening marks a significant milestone for the Navy's UUV plans, one that was nearly 20 years in the making. Del Mastro said, During the winter of 2014, a UUV team from NUWC was at this very pier demonstrating the utility of large vehicles to inform the Navy's future unmanned division. Today we have a new team, the Snakehead team, comprised of talented individuals representing the warfare centers, university laboratories, and industry. It was very challenging at times, and it was a long and difficult path to get here, but today you succeeded in delivering many firsts for the Navy. Snakehead UUV is one of the largest undersea vehicles being built that can be deployed by a U.S. submarine. It is a high-endurance and multi-mission UUV. The drone submarines are aimed primarily at intelligence preparation and operational environment roles, or IPOE, but can also be used for surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, missions too. IPOE missions typically involve collecting information about specific areas or objectives in advance of operations. Snakehead could be launched to help the crew survey the area for threats from a safe distance or could be deployed to search for sunken objects such as downed planes in rival territories. The system could use side-scan sonar and other bathymetric instruments for this purpose. As per reports, Snakehead is powered by lithium-ion fault-tolerant lift batteries, which are very efficient and dependable. NUWC said in its press release that Snakehead UUV is built using government-owned architecture and vehicle software. Since it's much smaller than a submarine, it will also be much harder for the enemies to detect it. The Snakehead LDUUV will equip the Littoral Combat Ships LCS, in the coming days. The U.S. Navy has also stated that Snakehead will fully integrate with modernized Dry Deck Shelter DDS, and Payload Handling System-equipped submarines. 
That means the U.S. Navy's four Ohio-class guided missile submarines, or SSGNs, and at least six Virginia-class submarines and probably Sea Wolf-class spy submarine USS Jimmy Carter, which has a large ocean interface section, can be used to launch UUVs. Viewers may note that because of the snakehead's large diameter, it won't fit in a standard 533mm torpedo tube. Snakehead will add significant tactical capabilities to these submarines and it's likely that most submarines will be designed to accommodate this kind of vessel going forward. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Mike Gilday has said just a few days ago that the service could begin incorporating large unmanned platforms into the fleet within the next five years. Gilday said, according to Breaking Defense, in the long run, the goal is to put ourselves in a position where we can scale those platforms and into the 2030s have unmanned in larger numbers available to the commanders. Sometime back, the U.S. Navy's Sea Hunter project had achieved a special feat. Sea Hunter, which is a medium displacement unmanned surface vehicle, MDUSV, became the first craft to ever sail from San Diego, California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii and back without needing any onboard crew. Viewers may note that the round trip is almost 5,200 miles or about 8,370 kilometers. Even though aerial drones have made significant strides in terms of their range, endurance and firepower, undersea drones have lagged behind. This is going to change. Now that a snakehead has been christened, the U.S. Navy will surely assign it to some sort of operational role so as to gauge its effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Those learnings will be vital since it's a new domain and could be used to optimize the future vessels. Undersea warfare is critical and has become extremely important to maintain superiority in the battle space below the waves as the U.S. tries to stay one step ahead of Russia and China. Snakehead could pave the way for armed underwater systems too. Also, this is in line with an increased focus on unmanned assets and making the fleet distributed and more flexible. It remains to be seen how things work out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.